Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time you're watching this broadcast, I wanna welcome you today. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Jay Moore, I'm your healthy accountant, where I help you to account for your life, business, spiritual, financial, um, and your uh, relationships, all the areas of your life that's important. We're helping you to account for them. And so we welcome you today to today's Enlightenment broadcast here on Facebook Live and also um, on YouTube. So if you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. And if you're on Facebook and if you have not already liked or followed our page, uh, please like and follow. Today, our Enlightenment is titled Between the Dash. Between the Dash. It took me a few minutes. It took me a few minutes. It took me longer than normal to decide what I would talk to you about today. Because I didn't really know. I didn't have an idea. I woke up a little bit later because my body was tired. I've been, I've been, I've been pushing it to the, you know, I can't say that I pushed it to the max because I know that there's a lot more that I can push my body to do. But I've been pushing, and uh, I was looking at, it's funny, I was looking at my knee this morning, and I noticed it. I was like, man, my knee looks like it's a little bit, it may be a little swollen. I was like, man, but I'm still going to, I'm still going to run on it. Um, but I just have to treat it more. Um, but I was looking at it, and, you know, I was just like, man, I've got, I've got, I've got more to give than I'm giving. And so, you know, I was sitting at my desk just thinking about what I would talk to you about today. And, you know, lots of thoughts. I'm talking about I had, I had tons and tons and tons of thoughts, looking through the word, looking through, looking at all sorts of things. And then for some reason, it just came up between the dash. What is between the dash? That is the present. You know, it's nothing like, it's nothing like when, you know, you hear of someone that passes away. And usually the first thing that we think of is the fact that they're gone and the fact that, you can't believe it, especially if it was uh, tragic or unexpected. And um, when I thought of Between the Dash, I thought of a, a recent person who passed away. Uh, his name's Alan Foster, a senior. And he was the organist. He was, you know, he played for our uh, high school choir. You know, him, he and his wife were you know, in charge and they, and, and they really helped us to be one of the best or greatest choirs that we could be when we were in high school. And he was an amazing um, arranger. He was an amazing organist, pianist, uh, composer. Um, and I thought about his life briefly between the dash. And I realized that, man, he had, you know, he's written some songs and see those songs are, are, are going to live forever. Now, he's not going to live in the flesh, but his songs, the music that he created for others to sing is going to live forever. And I thought about, I thought about one of the songs that he had composed and I was humming it in my mind. And I was just like, man, I said, that song lives forever. I remember learning the song. You know, I remember singing that song hard and, and singing the harmony. And I was, you know, and as I'm thinking about it, I said, man, you are here one day, but then you're gone the next. You're here one day and gone the next. And so what does that all mean for you, for me? You know, there's a text in Matthew 18. Uh, there's a subheading called the value of heaven. And what, what Jesus was talking about was that it's better, it would be better for me or you to lose a body part than to lose out on that great heaven. It would be better to lose, you know, to lose our life early, <laughs> you know, at, at a time when we could be saved than to lose out 
on heaven. And I was sitting here like, man, so many of us go through life not even paying attention to the little, the little thing that we could do that could impact our between the dash. Because maybe we're just concerned about our circumstances that may be causing us to worry. Maybe we are concerned about um, something that's happening within our family, our health, our, our finances, that's causing us to not think clearly. But if we were then to start thinking about not the past or the future, but think about the right now. I read a book um, a couple of years ago called The Power of Now. See, a lot of times we we think that we we a lot of times are in the past. It's nothing like when you're talking to friends, say from high school or college, and we're talking about old times. We're talking about all the silly things that we did, all the fun that we may have had, and we're reliving the past. Most of us aren't aren't in those conversations talking about the now and how how look, man, my life is a sacrifice for what I believe. Right now, I'm pushing myself past limits that I believed that I had some time ago, but now I'm pushing myself to believe more heavily in who I am and what I'm able to do. See, but a lot of times those conversations aren't that way. We may only focus in on the past. I've been in them. I talked in the past and, oh, what we did in high school. Man, between the dash. See, once it's gone, it doesn't come back. And it's nothing we can see. The future, we can't, we can't go into the future present like physically but the funny thing about the future is that you can create it in the present see how many of you are are right now designing your future in the present and living as though it's real today you're probably wondering well how how can you live as though the future is real hmm. and i've given this analogy many of times if you build a house, if a house is built, then you have to build it first before you can actually build the house. Imagine, imagine you show up to a, you know, a piece of land and you're like, man, I want to put a house on this land. You say, great. All right. Before you can build the house, you've got to build it. You've got to go get someone to design the house. You go to the architect. Hey, architect. Hey, I've got this land. It's 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 all of this. They got to make sure that the land is okay. They got to survey. They got to make ensure that you know whatever you want to put on it, it can be supported. They got to design a house that can fit on there. All the specifications, everything that goes into house, all the way up to a rendering of the house on paper and physically. Have you seen one of those rendering where it's the actual model of the house or the development? You're like, man, that's what it's going to look like. See, that is how you create the future in the present. But a lot of times what happens is we never create that future in our minds. We never write it down, you know. It's nothing like having a goal and not writing it down. I'm sitting here. I've got my goals in front of me for 2019, right? You know, I'll, you know, you know. I have them. I had them laminated, and then there was one step I was missing last week. I realized it. Let me see. Today is the 13th. It might, I might, that may have been on the 9th or the or, or the 8th. I said, wait a second. I don't have my dashboard set up. I don't have my tracking mechanism set up. So that I can see how I'm moving closer and closer to the goal that I set out. See, I realized, I said, well, if I'm going to help you account for your life, then I've got to be able to show you how to account for it. See, accounting for your life means that you'll have a goal, right? You will have a goal of something that's a part of that part of your life. And be, now that goal is the main thing. But in order to build up to that goal, you've got to be able to see step one, step two, step three, step four, or all of the things that you do or did to get there. See, that's where we miss it. So what happens is that between the dash that we're working on, that, that, that what we're hoping to get somewhere, 
typically we wound up somewhere where we didn't want to go because we never saw it. We never actually created that dash. And it's, you know, I'm going to tell you, man, I'm 47 years old. And at 47, I say to myself, I say to myself, I'm, I'm thankful. Here's why I'm thankful. Like I could say, man, I wish I would have done all these things prior to now. No, I'm not going to say that. I'm thankful today that I've gone through all of the lessons that I've seen up until this point that has created the person that now can, can, can see something so clear that I can now live it and I can show others how to live it. So had I had success or more success back 10 years ago, I may not have been able to show you or teach you or, or help you the way that I know that God's allowing me to do it today. You know, between the dash, you know, all of us have to make a, make an extreme commitment to our life. All of us have to make an extreme commitment to, um, to helping another, finding one person, one person, you know, in Matthew 18, it also has a text in there. It says where two or more are gathered, you know, in his name, his presence is always there and things will happen. So it's nothing like doing something by yourself, but it's no sense in doing it by yourself if you could do it with someone else. Find one person that you could be accountable to. Find one person that you could, you could share you're between the dash with find that person and say, hey, look, let's, let's hold each other accountable to what we said we were going to do. See, cause if you're the only person, you know, and I, and, and I've spent time by myself and I know that, you know, and I realize that I, I I've got to be with another person, another, at least one that, Hey, what's your goal and what's, and then here's my goal. And let's spend our between the dash, our time, helping each other, helping each other to stay accountable to who we are and what we want. See, because it's nothing like when your life ends, when that between the dash is final and there's 2019 sitting there, it says, man, that person went from this point to January 13th, 2019. There's going to be a lot of between the dashes that ends today. And when it ends, all you will have is whatever you created. And I'm going to tell you, it's nothing like going to a funeral. And the person did not create anything. Like, seriously, they didn't create anything. Yeah, they may have, they may have a family. Usually there's at least a few family members there. Um, they may have a few friends. But then when you read the obituary, that between the dash... It's, it's pretty normal. Hey, well, they had family, friends. They, were, you know, they grew up in that town, and then they went to this city, and they went to that school, and you know, they worked all these years. They got sick, and or abruptly, their life ended. How do you want your between the dash? How do you want it to be written? You should write your obituary. You should look, sit down, and say. Man, what would I want people to say? What would I want them to say at my funeral if this happened three years from now? If it happened a year from now? What would I want them to say? What would I want to leave behind that could outla will outlast me in my life? What seeds would I want to plant? What good would I want to do for, for an organization or a person or, or you know, a, a family that they could remember? And I was thinking about some things as I was waking up this morning. And I think that's what probably prompted this, um, this talk, you know, is that, you know, I've been making plans and then the plans have to become even more granular. You know, I want to give more money and, you know, how do I want to give the money? I don't just want to give it. I want it to mean something. I want to see the fruits of where this money goes. 
And so I thought about it. I said, man, I have to design that so that when I do give those amounts of money or time or whatever I give, that I know that the impact will be made to other lives and to other families. See, Between the Dash can come today. It can come tomorrow. Don't let it come. Don't let it come without really looking at your life, making a clear decision about where you're headed, making a clear decision about where you're headed so that you can be the most of the person you are today. And if you need to grow, which most of us need to grow on a daily basis, then it's time to grow. It's time to put away the childish things. It's time to, you know, let go of the things that's been causing a lot of the pain. It's time to live between that dash and to give more of ourself. Because if more people were like you, giving more of themselves, hmm. There would be, there would just be so much more going on now positively than there is. We wouldn't have to be talking about government shutdowns and we wouldn't have to be worried about, you know, um, you know, the finances, because if you, you know, realize that instead of, you know, going to get a job, you created a job. If more people did that, we would just live in a better place. So guys, take that between the dash today. Let's, let's look at it for ourselves. I know I'm looking at it today and I'm planning. I'm planning how much more I can help you, how much more I can give you because that's the only thing that matters. Giving more, loving more and being the most being the most of who God has called me to be. So I thank you guys for joining me today at this enlightenment program between the dash. If you are watching this program and you've made it this far, um, please like comment if you got some value from it and definitely like it. If you got value from it, share it across your social network here on Facebook or YouTube. So that others may, you know, have an opportunity to, um, you know, to see and to listen to some of these programs. Um, the goal is to impact thousands, you know, this year, haven't made a big number, a, a specific number for, for the impact, but you know, if you shared it and someone else shared it, then that would definitely help that movement. Um, so guys, thank you so much, um, for listening and, and, and sharing it across, you know, your networks. And if you don't share it, it's okay. I'm, I'm just grateful for you. Um, so God bless you today and um, take your between the dash and plan where you would like it to be when that time comes. So God bless you. God, God bless you. And I look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Take care. Mm -hmm.